You see, these are just symptoms of the devil trying to destroy this great nation. And they start by trying to take faith out of our culture, faith out of our families, God out of our lives. But the founding fathers had it right. And that means that we have to be, in this day and age, the defending fathers of this great nation. In order for us to do that, I encourage us to do three simple things. Because it's up to us. We've got to stay informed of what's the truth and what's not the truth. The situation in Egypt has been all over the press and the media and unless you were living in a cave you couldn't miss that story about what was going on in Egypt. And you've even probably heard some of the news reports that said that the Muslim Brotherhood was a secular group of businessmen. No, they're not. They even said that once things settle down, one of their spokespersons, that once things settle down, they don't have any intentions of taking control of the government. Yes, they do. <laughs> we have to know what's true, folks. And the good news is that a lot of ways to figure it out. You don't have to just depend upon what's in the newspaper. You don't have to depend upon any one radio talk show host. You got a lot of them you can listen to, but you've been listening to a good one. <laughs> Because God is on our side. Yeah. 
That's what got us started. That's what brought us. That's what's going to allow us to take America back from the liberal element. And we all got to do our part. We got to stay informed. We got to stay involved. Do what you can do. Not everybody can run for public office. Not everybody can head the school board. Not everybody can be a principal or teacher. Do what you can do. That's all God asks us to do in this life, what you can do. In fact, the words to the closing song of the 2000 Olympics say, life can be a challenge. Life can seem impossible. It's never easy when there's so much on the line. But you can make a difference. There's a mission just for you. Just look inside and you will find just what you can do. That's all Christ asked of the servants when he loaned them some talents. See, your talents are on loan from God Almighty. And we have a responsibility to use them. Do what you can do by standing far. Thirdly, stay inspired. The founders believed that we could break away from the British, and we did. The founders believed that we could win the Revolutionary War, and we did. The great patriots throughout our history we have withstood attacks from foreign countries. We have withstood the Great Depression. We have withstood some of America's most turbulent and ugliest times. And yes, we've had some scars. We have some black marks in our history. But what made America great was the fact that the founding fathers envisioned those ideals not where they were at that point in time in that day. They set the bar high to where America needed to work up to when they said, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I had a... I had a call to my radio show one night I was doing a special 4th of July Independence Day show. Wanted to do something patriotic. So I talked about the founding fathers and the greatness of their vision. When they said, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men and women are created equal. And a man called up, said, Mr. Kane, I'm ashamed of you. I said, why? Here you are on the radio, a black man, praising the founding fathers when they had slaves. So yes, they did. You didn't think I knew that? <laughs> How can you put praise on the founding fathers when they had slaves? They weren't perfect. I said, sir, you're missing the point. The founding fathers set the bar high. They set the ideal that we were supposed to aspire to. And we have. That's why America is great, because we aspire to high.